Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the transportation problem with the help of the northwest corner method. Transportation problem is useful to reduce the cost of the transportation. Now look at the problem, there are two important things, supply and demand. P1 supply is 20, P2 supply is 28, P3 supply is 70. Now if you calculate the total supply, total supply is equal to 65. Whereas W1 demand is 21, W2's demand is 25. W3's demand is 19. If you calculate the total demand, it is equal to 65. Supply is equal to 65 and demand is equal to 65. Therefore, we can say that supply is equal to demand and this is the balanced transportation problem. This 7, 6, 9, 5, 7, 3, 4, 5 and 8, this remaining atom are transportation cost per unit. 7 is the transportation cost per unit from P1 to W1. 6 is the transportation cost per unit from P1 to W2 and 9 is the transportation cost per unit from P1 to W3. Now we will solve this transportation problem with the help of the northwest corner method. As you are aware about the direction, now first of all we will find the northwest corner of this table. The northwest corner of this table is this cell. Now look at this cell. Supply is 20 and demand is 21. Now here we want to allocate some unit to this cell. Now the question is how to allocate the units. For this cell supply is 20 and demand is 21. Though the demand is more than supply but here only we can allocate the 20 unit. Here for the examination point of view I would like to give you a one simple technique. Your supply is 20 and your demand is 21. Therefore at the time of the allocation of unit always allocate the lesser unit. The 20 and 21, the lesser unit is 20, therefore here we have allocated the 20 unit. Though we have allocated the 20 unit, this supply becomes 0, 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 and 21 minus 20 is equal to 1. Now after this allocation, this supply becomes 0, therefore for this cell we cannot allocate any unit and for this cell also we cannot allocate any unit, therefore we will cancel this row. Now look at the remaining row and column, northwest corner is the this cell and here supply is 28 and demand is 1. Therefore as per our discussion we will allocate the lesser unit and the lesser unit is the 1. Therefore here our allocation is 1 unit. After this allocation this demand becomes 0, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and supply becomes 28 minus 1 is equal to 27. Now look at this column, W1 column, here demand is equal to 0, therefore we cannot allocate any unit to this cell therefore we will mark therefore we will cancel this column now look at the remaining cell northwest corner is this cell here supply is 27 and the demand is 25 allocate the lesser unit and the lesser unit is 25 after this allocation here demand becomes 0 25 minus 25 is equal to 0 and 25 and 27 minus 25 is equal to 2 now again look at the W2 column, the demand is equal to 0, therefore here we cannot allocate the any unit, again cancel this column. Now again look at the remaining two cell, the northwest corner cell is this, here the supply is 2 unit and the demand is 19, therefore as per our discussion allocate the lesser unit that is 2. After this allocation the supply becomes 0, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. And here demand become 19 minus 2 is equal to 17. Now look at the second row. In the second row supply is equal to 0. Therefore again we will cancel this row. And the last cell here, here demand is 17 and supply is 17. Therefore we will allocate all the unit. After that this demand becomes 0. 17 minus 17 is equal to 0. And here supply becomes 0. So 17 minus 17 is, is equal to 0. After this allocation check all the demands. All the demands are 0. All the supplies are also 0. After this calculate the number of allocation, the number of allocation is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, therefore number of allocation is equal to 5. Now here we want to check whether number of allocations are equal to m plus n minus 1, here m is equal to number of row 3, n is equal to number of column 3, minus 1 is equal to 5. Therefore here number of rows are equal to number of column, therefore here we can say that the solution is the feasible. Now we will go for the final answer, final total transportation cost. Total transportation cost is equal to, total transportation cost is equal to 7 into 20 plus 7 into 25 plus 3 into 2 plus 8 into 17 plus 5 into 1 is equal to 462. 
Therefore, total transportation cost is equal to 462.